it is loud as hell here. Ain't nobody here in general. But uh just got done. That was uh 365 for three sets of seven. And I'm gonna do 405 for three sets of three. So that's the end of my deadlifts. Um, I feel pretty good about deadlifts in general. I feel like I'm actually uh, moving up in the world with progression and maybe uh, hitting some good numbers. Now, at a certain point, I still got a lot of things to work on, more uh, hip placement, uh, especially. Um, I'm using lesser back than I used to. Um, I, my position is uh, going pretty good uh, with deadlifts, and I figured that I'm, you know, moving up, uh, especially with deadlifts, I'm doing pretty good. So I'm doing more rowing, more uh, activation with lats, and it feels pretty damn good. With this, I didn't do planks, so I'm having somebody uh, from a older video uh, show uh, planks. Now, I usually do with more of like on my forearms but with this it's still the same thing if you can't hold yourself you can't hold any type of weight strengthening your body and your base is not just with weights you can do it by yourself with your body in general and it helps out with mostly abs and the whole body so with that i usually do this right after i do deadlifts and it helps out a lot it's late at night and it feels like it's hunting three degrees in this house <sighs> whatever I just got done with deadlifts probably like a few hours ago <sighs> and I don't know why but have you feel like if you're a, a power lifter is it me or every time you increase um progress from greater to squats and then some reason your deadlifts kind of suck and then when it comes to deadlifts apparently your squats just tremble like I don't understand that because they have the both both regions of um, all the powers from pretty much from the ass cheeks um the glutes is where you form all your power from um it makes sure that the weight is going up regardless um and that's pretty much what they're used for i don't know what's the point but uh Dillas were kind of a struggle kind of but not as much as squats last week um now at the same point I, I target 355 and I did 365 three sets of seven um I was gonna do 405 for deficiency wasn't ready for that so I did 385 for three um pretty great didn't use belt now I did use straps for deficient because at the same time my hands are fried so um other than that I can't really complain now because it's almost April I'm increased weight um not as efficient but try to do a lot more just because i know it feels like it's just passing by so with that being said like i need to hurry up <laughs> now that's a stupid saying because progression is being patient and you know looking forward to seeing yourself grow and all that stuff and you know constantly um Progressing is a struggle sometimes. But at the same time, it needs to hurry up. But um, I'm not maxing out. I'm not trying to peak um, until like end of May, honestly. Like I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to peak at, at end of April. But I just want to increase 
uh, more of my exercises, more of like my training uh, in April. Um, more overload, mostly, um, especially for uh, deadlifts and uh, bench press, squats. Not really. Um, I can probably do like squat holds, um, maybe some rubber bands, but I really don't feel like it's uh, more of a, you know, like I don't see that will be like helping the problem. I just think I need to add a day and that actually might help a lot. Um, just increase volume and all that stuff and do it more like squats in general. Like bench and deadlifts, cool in one day. Feel great. Squats, I need more work with. So I'm going to increase a day uh, probably next week. Um, it's still going to be one day. And then once I fix my schedule and all that stuff, that's pretty much what I want to do. Now, at that point, honestly, all I'm trying to do is get stronger and strengthen my base. Now, I'm increasing most things, especially weight and all that stuff. But not as much to where I should struggle. I should like, you know, um, if I want to increase weight, I might increase my carbs and mostly my, mostly my, uh, like healthy fats or whatever, maybe a little bit of calories. Now, not as much, but I'm just still, it's a mess up thing is all I want to do is increase it to 200. I just wanted to go to like 23 to 2,500. Now, that's pretty much the plan. I'm sweating hard. This is what happens when you have people that love heat. Like, I love heat outside because I feel energized. The vitamin D from the sun is remarkable. Like, it, it helps me out. But when I'm hot... At night, I cannot sleep. So I have to be cold to sleep. And being in a house that feels like it's 136 degrees kind of sucks. But other than that, um, Devil is pretty good. I was pretty much getting too hype. Especially in a commercial gym. I'm kind of slamming weights and all that stuff. And I don't really care about how people feel about it. I just want to get done and get it over with. Because... Deadlifts still suck, and I hate pulling in general, but it was a fun time, and I can't really complain. I'm strengthening most of the time, like, most of, um, most of my main, uh, main lifts in general. It's just kind of squats are getting it agitating. Um, well, other than that, I'm still doing belt lifts with deadlifts just because I'm trying to work on more of my core. I honestly want to uh, compete without a belt. But we're going to see what happens. Other than that, I'm about to hit the hay. I'll see you guys later. It's hot. And I might actually do a dancing outro. A dancing outro. So, we're going to see how that goes. But right now, take my ass to sleep. See you guys later.